What's happening, YouTubers? We have an FJ Cruiser here. Oh, boy. So, rumor has it that I had some suspension work done. And I said, yuck. And why I said yuck is, you're going to have the suspension work done on your FJ Cruiser, right? Why wouldn't you have the front suspension corrected? So you had it lifted, but then no correction. So it has so much of a forward rake, it's horrible looking. Just my opinion. And then wheels and tires. Uh, so let me show you some other stuff. Me, as the installer, I would have actually said, uh, Mr. Customer, I'm gonna softly decline on taking your money because this shit right here is not gonna stay together. This is the track bar for the rear suspension, which keeps the rear underneath your FJ. That's what I would have said to Mr. Customer. So, me stealing your money is not justified, but you see, there's thieves out there, so. And he also did some brake lines, and I'm curious. That's leaking. So and I'm looking at the coil springs, I'm like, something doesn't look right. So that coil spring there is not in the seat. I mean, I'm even afraid to touch that that brand new tube nut on that brake line because the fucking brake line's rotted to death. So then I come over here and I'm like, all right, so you guys don't know how to install the coil springs correctly? The pigtail is not even in its seat. That's what locks the coil spring in. Yeah, there's the pigtail, right? And it's 180 degrees out. And I assure you that's 180 degrees out too, probably. Yep. So that coil spring's not locked in either. I would have just said sorry, dude. I know you love your truck, but like you need a rear end or you need a chassis shop. Or you need a new frame. I mean basically this thing is so soggy and soft everywhere. I would have just said sorry, I'm not doing it. I mean, this is near, near the end of its useful life. Yep, because it's all the way. I could see right here the shiny metal, so that piece is flexing in there. <sighs> you know, and then there's days here that. I don't have anything to do where, you know, I get customers who have, you know, 50 cents to fix the car, and this is just real world. And then I got customers like this who go to other shops and completely get robbed. Like, the brake line's leaking. It didn't just start leaking. It's been leaking. Uh, this didn't just happen overnight. Coil springs are installed wrong in the back. And, the you know, this had to cost five six thousand dollars I had to wheels tires parts labor and then the rake of the system is still disgusting I mean it looks like a, a Ford Bronco but I don't know you guys tell me FJ cruisers chime in thanks for watching